Before we dive into the depths of this water world and discuss what life may exist or if life exists at all, let's first learn a little bit about this extraordinary planet. Gliese 1214b is an exoplanet that orbits the star Gliese 1214. This planet is usually called GJ1214 for short, but the majority of the public refer to this planet as the water planet. This planet is 7 times the mass of Earth and 2.7 times the Earth's diameter. The entire planet is covered with water, 75% of the planet is made of water, and 25% is made of rock. The planet is enshrouded by a thick, steamy atmosphere containing helium and hydrogen. Planet's temperature is around 248 through 539 degrees Fahrenheit, which is causing the steam. Even though the heat is extreme, the atmospheric pressure stops the ocean from boiling. Due to the lack of any water in its liquid form, combined with the high temperature and pressure, it is highly unlikely that life could exist on this planet, but there is still a possibility. Gliese 1214b is thought to once orbit the habitable zone around its host star, which has made allow life to exist in its warm oceans. As the orbit changed gradually down the years, life that exhibits the planet may have adapted to the changes. The tardigrade can barely survive in temperatures greater than 300 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 52 degrees higher than the average minimum temperature on this steaming planet, so it's not impossible that life can exist on this planet. Now that we know that life can actually possibly exist here, what well, life would exist here? The gravity is 10% less than ours, which isn't a big difference from ours, so there shouldn't be any blimp-like bees floating around in the atmosphere eating balloon floating like organisms. The pressure varies so much in depth that the water can be in the forms of steam, liquid, superfluid, high pressure isis, and plasma. This planet is believed to have oxygen. If that's so, there's a possibility creatures may have lung-like organs. But if the temperature of the surface is too hot and most of the life there stay deep in the depths of the ocean where it's cooler, then there is most likely won't be any creatures with lungs because the lungs filled with air will cause there to be a pressure difference, which will result in their lungs collapsing under pressure in the ocean. They will have to have something similar to gills to take in oxygen, but not some air sac ready to explode under pressure. Lungs wouldn't even function correctly under such pressure anyway. The creatures will also have to be incompressible by having solid flesh. The reason for this is because there needs to be no difference in pressure between the creature and the water's pressure. If everything is about the same, there won't be any opposite forces causing destruction upon the organism. The water here is a lot different from ours on Earth. Since the temperature and pressure are high, the water would be like a thick, icy hot fluid. Because of this, the way the creature travel will possibly be very different from our aquatic life. Because of how thick the water is, they may be a lot slower than life here on Earth. Life at the extreme depths of the deeps may be gigantic. The reason for this is because of the Kleber's rule. For an example, an animal having 100 times the mass of another will have a metabolism roughly 32 times greater than a smaller animal. Because creatures from the deep usually get their food from what falls from above, food would be very scarce, so they would need to be huge to become efficient. Think of a fruit fly and a blue whale. A blue whale can go 5 months without eating, but a fruit fly can only go 2 days without eating. Basically, the deeper you go, food will become very scarce, which result in naturally bigger organisms. Here are some photos of creature size comparisons on Earth of the shallow parts of our water compared to the deep. As you can see, depth really affects size. Now imagine creatures in the depths of Gliese 1214b with depths far beyond Earth's. I can't exactly conclude any of this information because I'm just a random dude who does some research making assumptions, but from the provided information, I believe these creatures may be very solid, pretty slow in speed, most likely live in deep depths, no lungs, gills, and huge sizes on average. Keep in mind these speculations are based closely on life from our planet and life can be so much different, so take this with a grain of salt. Even though the planet is 43 light years away, soon we will be able to send a machine to explore its mysterious depths and reveal what's really lurking far beneath this exoplanet's surface.